Hey y'all, welcome back to Brave Kids Art Club. My name is Brad and I'm so excited that you guys chose to draw with me today. This is always the highlight of my day. And today's extra special because the animal that we're gonna be drawing is a really cool animal to begin with, but it's even cooler because one of you guys requested it. And I love that. I love that we get to draw an animal that you guys want to draw. So thank you for requesting it. The animal we're gonna be drawing today is one of those animals that I respect because they can be really dangerous, but they're really beautiful, awesome animals. I just wanna see them from a very long distance away. <laughs> the animal we're drawing today is a wolf. And the wolf is extra special because it's an animal that was almost extinct here in the US. Extinct means completely gone, wiped away from the entire US, which is really crazy and sad to think that we almost lost all of the gray wolves. But they're making a comeback and they're no longer endangered, which is really awesome. So are you guys ready to draw a wolf? Awesome, okay, well, let's make sure we have everything we need. All right, so let's start with a nice clean sheet of paper. I'm gonna start with my sketch pad on its side here, landscape, because I wanna draw the full wolf and I wanna have them howling and uh, we're just gonna need some space for that. So to start off, we need to make sure we have a pencil, nice and sharpened for our sketching, and we make sure that we have erasers handy to, to erase all the pencil lines, and then we'll do some outlining with a permanent pen or a marker of some type, something dark that we can draw the outlines with. And we're gonna finish it off by coloring. One of my favorite parts is doing the coloring, so that'll be a whole lot of fun. Okay, so to start the sketch, let's map out the big shapes of this. So I might just draw like a, uh, a, a rectangle here for the main body of our wolf to start. Let's do that right in the middle. Let's do a nice rectangle. That's gonna be the main body. Now we're gonna have to make some adjustments to this rectangle, but for now this is perfect. It's just showing the area where the body's gonna be. So then here at the top, I'm gonna draw a circle, pretty light circle for where the head's gonna be. I want the head pointing up, howling at the moon. Now, do they actually howl at the moon? No, they don't howl at the moon. They're not having a conversation with the moon. They actually have conversations with each other. That's why they howl. But there is evidence that they do howl a whole lot more with a big full moon yeah. out. Okay, so now let's add the snout here. And my arm might get in the way, so I'll try to move it back a little bit. Let's kind of do a little angled line up here for the snout coming off the head, and then I'm just gonna do a curve right here, and not all the way back, just a little ways back. Not all the way back to the head, because we're gonna draw the bottom part of the, the mouth. So then I'm gonna draw a straight line out, so you can see the mouth is open, howling. And I'm gonna do another curve line right here. And it's not gonna be as thick as this one, it's gonna be a little bit thinner, and it's not gonna be as long as the snout. So where the nose is, I don't want it to be, I don't want this to be longer. That might look a little weird or even the same size. I want to make that bottom part of the jaw shorter. Okay, so maybe I'll bring it down like this. There you go. I'll erase a little bit of that. Now that looks kind of funny right now. You can kind of clean that up, but we'll, we'll do some things to make this look more like a, a snout. Maybe we'll add the little part where the nose is. <laughs> and this head's not going to be perfectly circled. Like I said, these are all going to kind of change here. But let's draw the neck from the top here. Let's just kind of draw a line coming down, which actually means I want to switch out this, how long this rectangle is. So I'm going to do a new rectangle kind of right here. Probably draw a new line down there so I can see that. And then this will extend out. Maybe do like a circle right here, half a circle right there. And that's going to be the bottom of our, our wolf. Okay, so we got that. So you got your rectangle here. I kind of had to make an adjustment because I want these the top of the circle to connect with the corner of the rectangle. And that's perfectly fine if you need to erase that. So take a look at that. And then I'm going to go from kind of the, the bottom of this circle here. And I'm going to have it kind of curve down, kind of follow the curve of the circle and have it kind of curve back to the bottom of this rectangle. There we go. Okay. So I might have to move some things and make our wolf a little thicker, <laughs> but we can do that a little bit later. Let's start adding the rest of the body parts and then we can deal with that. Okay, so you can kind of see the body, the neck, the head, the mouth. Now we need to do those front legs. So I'm gonna kind of do them right here. I'm gonna try to line it up kind of with this circle and kind of have the front leg down here. So I'm gonna go straight down with the front leg right there. And then I'm gonna do uh, kind of an angled line to make it a little bit tapered. That means it gets smaller, it goes it's bigger at the top and it gets smaller down at the bottom where their foot is. 
There you go, where their paw is. So that might be a little long, but I'm gonna draw, and then I'm gonna draw like a little, um, little paw on there. Now in real life, they don't have tiny paws, so if you wanna give them a big paw, you can do that. This is just how I want to draw mine. <laughs> it's just the style choice that I chose. And you can choose to draw yours however you'd like. That's always important to make it your own. All right, so I'm not gonna draw the other foot back there. There we go. So now we got the two front feet. It still looks kind of funny because we got to add the other legs here. So I'm gonna draw this back leg starting here. We're gonna do a little curve back. There we go. I'm gonna curve that back like a C, a big stretched out C. And then as it's before, you know, instead of just cutting it straight down, kind of go at a little bit of an angle there, like it's laying its leg backwards a little bit. There we go. And we'll draw another paw on the back. And we're gonna go taper it a little bit, meaning it's gonna be small and get a little bit bigger up here. Bring it up. And the backs of their legs always look a little different than than human legs because they kind of have this other little part that, that bends. So we're gonna start from that spot right here. We're gonna have that part bend to a little S shape in the back of their leg. Now that might be a little too skinny. I might have to kind of go out a little bit, but now we're gonna have this connect to this circle. Now the circle looks like it's too far out. His bum's not gonna be that big. So we're gonna kind of br bring it in a little bit. And then when we do that, make sure you just kind of erase the extra lines, the old lines so you can kind of see what the final bit's gonna be like. Okay, now if you need to draw a line here, take a ruler and kind of draw a line along the bottom so you know that the feet line up, you can totally do that. That might be helpful. All right, so I might actually kind of make this a little less angled here. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the next leg. I'm gonna draw this. This way you're gonna see this one in the back kind of coming through. So I'm gonna kind of go like this, do another little kind of mimic what I'm doing here, to copy what I'm doing here, but not all the way. I'm gonna have it kind of coming forward a little bit. Like that. Go back here. So we got that little curve, and then another little line back here, and then we're gonna draw the foot. Now this foot can be a little bit further, a little bit higher up, it's okay. It means it's behind it. It's further away, it might be a little higher up. And then we'll kind of just draw a line that goes straight hides back here behind this front leg. Does that make sense? So if you're finding that these are kind of difficult to do, that's not a problem at all. They are kind of difficult. Four-legged animals, most of them have this back leg that looks like this, and it's kind of tricky to draw. So try your best to get that little bend in there. It, just, it almost looks like it's the opposite of how our legs work, <laughs> is what it looks like. And that it's like your knee back there is on the back of your leg. Um, but anyway, try your best right there and see if you can do that. Okay, so it's starting to look like a wolf, but let's add a big tail on here so we know we can kind of finish off where it's going to be on the page. We can finish composing our image on the page. We want to make sure we have a nice composition. Now they have a big tail back there. I don't know. I, don't, I think I might be making it a little too big. <laughs> Maybe you want a really big tail on your wolf. I, I made mine a little too big. But that's why we have the sketching phase. That's why we do. We use a pencil and we can erase all these little lines. And you can make your mistakes all you want. That's totally fine right now. Get them all out. Okay, I think that's how I'm gonna draw the tail, a big bushy tail. So this line, I do wanna kinda of thicken him up, but I wanna figure out where his ear is first. So let's do maybe on the top of his head right here. Let's draw an ear right back here. I'm gonna have it kinda of leaning back a little bit because that's what happens when they put their head back, that ear lays back down just a little bit. So I'm gonna kinda of do like a, you could do like a triangle if you want, kind of do a triangle. I might just round mine off a little bit. So you can start with one if you'd like. And I might just round it off on one side. I kind of like the look of that. Now, now that I've done that, I want to make sure I have the eye. Now the eye I'm going to have, normally I do the big eye with the pupil, and I think it looks really cool because it gives them a lot of character. But when they're howling, they close their eyes when they're howling. So I'm going to try to do kind of a closed eye look. But we'll still make their eye pretty big and friendly. There we go. And maybe I'll do it a little bit, a little bit thinner. There we go. I like that. Okay, so the mouth might look a little small, but let's finish off the head to see if I'm right. I'm gonna kind of follow this line that I already have and just meet it back to here. So kind of finish off the line. I'm not gonna really just keep it perfectly rounded, but it's up to you. So there we go. I'm gonna erase that stuff in the middle of the ear because I wanna make sure I don't color that in with the, the pen. 
And then I'm just going to draw a little line right here to show that it's a little bit folded over. Okay, that mouth looks a little small, but what I can do uh, is I can outline it on the outside of it so it makes it a little bit bigger. So later on I can, I can fix that because it does look a little small to me. But you may want to add little teeth in there if you'd like. They do have really big fangs. Those are those teeth right here. Even you probably have them too. <laughs> They're the ones that are pointy on the front of your mouth. Not your, not your front teeth, but there's ones right on the side. And that's what they have. They have sharp fangs for hunting. And they're really good at hunting. They actually hunt in packs. A, a group of wolves is called a pack of wolves. And they will go and they'll hunt bigger animals together because together they can take down really, really big animals. And they can travel a long time hunting animals, which is really cool. So we're gonna make them look a little thicker right here because they have two coats of fur. They're also muscular, but they have two coats of fur. They have a top coat and an undercoat. And that makes it so they can withstand lots of different temperatures. So they can be in really, really cold climates, like negative 40 degrees, because they have the two layers of fur. And they can also flatten that top layer when it's too hot, so that they can live in warmer areas. That's pretty cool. But the one we're gonna be drawing right now, let's just say he's living in a very cold area. We need to make him a little fluffier. A little fluffier. There we go. All right, that's looking pretty cool. I think we can go onto our marker now and do the outlining. Now, are you at a good spot? Good, okay, and if you're not, make sure you take your time and, and fix your sketch to however you'd like it to look because this is now where we're gonna be doing the permanent stage where you can't erase this part. So if you need to go in there and erase some of these things because you know you're not gonna draw those, go ahead and do that. We just use like that rectangle and the circle as guides. We want to use those big shapes first to kind of see where the wolf is going to be. And then we can just erase those underneath. All right, are we ready to ink this in? Ooh, this is always kind of the nerve wracking part. All right, so I'm going to make, let's do the mouth first. I want to make sure it's kind of bigger than what, what I have right here. Maybe I'll have it go back a little bit further. Let's do this. Okay, I'm going to make that drop down a little bit further. You'll notice I'm not copying it exactly. I'm going to go there. I'm going to go to the top of the mouth. Make sure it's a little bit longer. And we'll go back. There we go. Now I'm going to just draw like a little straight line over here and fill in that nose. And then I'll draw the teeth. Little teeth in there. I mean, they have big teeth, but you don't have to draw them big on here. <laughs> okay, let's draw the bottom of our wolf. Now, if you want to make this wolf a furrier wolf, you can make it go, you can kind of do the waves and make it furry on the chest because they do have a lot of fur. You can totally do that. I'm going to have this overlap a little bit, this line. I'm going to have that go straight down. And I'm going to draw the wolf's little paws at the bottom there. I haven't quite thought of a name for my wolf. Hmm. I think I'm going to name this wolf Angie. Now I have a niece named Angie who's also a very talented artist. I think it's a very fitting name for my wolf, Angie. All right, so we're going to draw little lines here for their paws. And then I'm going to go up here, draw the top of the head, but I'm going to stop because I want to draw the rest of the ear. There, you notice how I rounded mine off. Maybe you want yours pointy. You can look at pictures of wolves and uh, decide for yourself how you want to draw that ear. I don't want you to feel like you, you have to draw it this one way. There's lots of ways to draw wolves. Okay, and now I'm going to do the eye right here, the closed eye. Still looks pretty happy though. Now if you want to draw them furrier, you can do that. Uh, I think I'm going to just go straight across here and I'll add some fur in a minute, but I'll not draw it on the outside of my, my wolf, not at the outline. All right, so I'm going to do, just keep going. I'm, I guess, whoa, almost lost my pen here. I'm going to keep drawing all the way down here to the bottom of the tail. Here we go. There you go. And then I'm going to do the bottom of the wolf. And just follow that line around. Go down to the feet. Yeah, so we're going to draw these nice strong legs here. Because like I was saying earlier, when they hunt, you know, they can run for a long, 
long time, but they also can run really, really fast. They can run up to 40 miles an hour. That's sometimes how fast you drive in a car on, the, on like your main road. You know, and they have to travel a really long distance sometimes to catch their, their, their prey, the animals that they're trying to eat and catch. And sometimes they can run up to like 55 miles in one night. That's a really long ways, a really long ways. They'll keep tracking it down until they get it. All right, so here's our wolf. I think I'm ready to get rid of this under sketch here with my eraser. I kind of wish that I made the stomach go up a little bit and not so far down. It makes it look a little bit chubbier, <laughs> but that's okay. Maybe we got a little slightly chubby wolf and that's all right. Some of those mistakes, you know, you can, you can go back and fix them and start over, but I still like how it looks and I'm, I'm happy with it. So I'm gonna keep going. All right, so let's go ahead and just erase all this pencil. All right, for the most part, I was able to get that sketch layer to erase, but uh, I'm not gonna get all of it. You're not gonna get all of it, it's okay. Uh, but let's jump right into color. I'm gonna go bust into my markers right here. Hopefully you got some colors handy and you can start coloring it in and we'll, we'll meet up at the end. happy with how my wolf's turning out. I love the colors. How did yours turn out? Did you have a lot of fun? Good, that's the most important part. So make sure your parents take a picture of your artwork and then they tag us at Brave Kids Art Club on Instagram. That way I get a chance to see it and hopefully a lot of other people too. And we want that because we are proud of what we made. So that means we need to get our marker back out and we need to sign our name on our work because we're proud of what we made. There we go. Got my name on there finished up. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I had a great time. I hope you guys did too. And if you did, please drop this video a like. And then if you want to do more videos just like this, we do them every single day, Monday through Friday. So subscribe and always remember to be brave, be creative, and most importantly, be you. All right, we'll see you guys next time.